I'm not so a strainer, and what about a new type in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Let's get into it! It's still unbelievable to me that we're already talking about Gen 9 and that it is based around my home region of the Iberian Peninsula, but it's time to accept this and start analyzing everything, and maybe even over-analyzing the trailer we got. So, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet have very curious names, the first color-based names ever since Gen 5, which feels like it was 1000 years ago, considering the amount of games they put out. My first thought when I looked at the trailer was that Scarlet is there for the Blood Oranges and Violet is there for the Grapes. Easy enough, right? Red was there for Charizard and Blue for Blastoise, Gold kinda for Ho-Oh and Silver kinda for Lugia, and they decided to just trick our minds with Black for Reshiram and White for Zekrom, but you could still see it there. But we all know that Grapes and Oranges aren't where it ends, but to talk about that we need to talk a little bit about light. Not that one. The visible light spectrum ranges from a wavelength of 740 nanometers to 380 nanometers, basically red to violet. This would mean that the names Scarlet and Violet could easily be associated with exactly that, visible light. But we're talking about a game that centers on an open world map, a new evolution for Pokemon, and it's based on the Iberian Peninsula, a region known for their big role during the Age of Discovery. Not only that, the room where the security guard was, it was full of things pointing to research or findings, gold, silver, big tomes, lab utensils, you name them. And we can't forget another very important thing, as user MultidracoKiller pointed out in my comment section on my latest video. Portugal and Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, while under more rule, was known as Al-Andalus, or the Land of Lights. Pretty self-explanatory, right? But if this game is really about discovering what has yet to be discovered, I don't think we're gonna go for red and violet. I think we're gonna go for infrared and ultraviolet, colors we cannot see, but we can feel as heat. And that's where my new type theory comes in. First of all, I know we have this shot of the Windrose in the big plaza, and we can see that it seems to have no new types. I counted it multiple times, hoping for something, but I don't think there's anything there. But why would it be there when we're in a game about discovery? You can also see that the Pokeball in the battlefield in the middle of the Windrose looks really similar to the visible light spectrum, another hint at light being a big part of the game. You'll also notice that colors like grey, pink, black and white don't take part in the visible light spectrum, and that's because pink, for example, is a mixture of red and purple and the others are extra spectral colors, also known as grayscale, ranging from white, which is maximum light, to black, the absence of light. Well, we already have a dark type, and with all this talk of light in the game, I'm sensing a new light type might be in the works. But I don't think it will be like a regular type that you just find around, I think it will be more of a mechanic. We all know about the triangular prism experiment, right? The one in Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album cover. Basically, if white light hits a triangular prism, it will separate itself into the visible light spectrum. We haven't seen a triangular prism in this game, but we have seen this weird gem in the Japanese logos for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I'm feeling like light type might be a temporary type, almost like a fusion of types that you can use once a battle to make your Pokemon have every type. A bit like Arceus' legend plate worked in Pokemon Legends Arceus, only temporary. In fact, that might have been a hint at this, or just a way to check if it works in battle. If it is a regular type that you find around, I can see it being strong against dark type and also weak to it at the same time. Also, there might be some space stuff going on, maybe, but that's a story for another video. What do you think? Do you think we can get a new type and do you think it will be light type? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.